What is up guys, BC and Rollins here, back with another video, and uh, I'm doing my first interview, and I have a very special guest here, the one and only, Fuego Del Sol. What's up guys, shaking hips, doing flips, and now answering questions yeah. for BNC Rollins. Of course, uh, this will be our, our first interview with the wrestler, I think I'll probably do more in the future, I don't know yet, hopefully, but uh, let's get it started here. Is, um, what, do you, what advice do you have for inspiring wrestlers like myself and uh, others? I get this question all the time, and I always try to answer it with uh, finding a training school with a credible trainer that can uh, teach you a lot and get you connections, man. There's so many times people go to bad trainers and bad schools, and they don't go anywhere because of that. So find you a credible trainer, and just don't quit. Find a way. People make excuses. Don't make excuses. If you don't have the money, get a job and save the money. If you don't have your parents' support, find somebody who does support you. You know, if you don't have a car, Uber. <laughs> Some way to get to training and learn and uh, do it. You just got to do the same thing. That's a, that's a very good answer. Um, what was your uh, time? What did you do? What was your time being a KBWK? Did you enjoy it? I loved it, man. That's what got me. That's what made me believe I could do it, right? When we had such success on YouTube, by just wrestling on the trampoline, I thought, man, well, they gave me the courage and the faith and the uh, confidence to know that if I decided to go pro, that I could make a successful career out of it. And uh, four years in, I'm doing all right so far. Yeah, that was like uh, my childhood right there. I used to watch that like all the time, man. I really appreciate that, man. Anytime someone comes up to me at a show and tells me they see me on KBW, it's like, uh, it's such a rewarding feeling, and it's like, oh, yeah, that guy, he's one of my guys in the crowd. I already know. <laughs> yeah. I remember the first time, uh, I think it was actually the second time we met, like, during your match, I said I liked your vlogs. It was really funny. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. yeah, I probably pointed to you when you said that. I think you did. I think it was in the vlog. Yells at me yeah. and says something to mm -hmm. me, I always try to point them back out. Yeah. Uh, I think it was right after a dive. Uh, I yeah, I think it was. I think you dove at Matt Cross or something. I don't remember, but it was like it was at Pro Wrestling Religion. I remember that. Yes. Um, another question is, how did you uh, get into professional wrestling? I just I have always watched. My dad is a giant wrestling fan, so from the time I can remember, I've been watching wrestling. So I, it's just always been a thing. Like. Some people around middle school grow out of it or stop watching it for other reasons, give them different things, but I didn't. Like, I had two younger brothers, and they both fell out of love with it, but I never stopped. So, just from the day I was born, I guess my dad had just got, made me a wrestling fan, and I've loved it ever since. Yeah. Um, uh, you're always your reaction when, like, Guevara always calls you out in the vlogs. It's a quick laugh, <laughs> right? Uh, and him text constantly. And just like in the videos, we give each other crap over text message all the time so uh you know he uh whether he knows it or not he's just promoting my name a little bit more and uh i do appreciate that and i try to jab him back when i get around to making videos because i'm like him i don't have time because i'm wrestling so much so before go down soul shoots on sammy guevara <laughs> <laughs> what was like your worst injury in a match well, I've uh, just recently dislocated two of my fingers, and that's the only, that's the craziest thing I've ever done. I've never broke a bone in my body, so these dislocations uh, were weird. I was wrestling Brian Cage about a month and a half ago, and the first, one of the first moves of the match, I jump up and give him an insecurity on the outside, and when I land on the floor, I look down at my left middle finger, and it is dislocated out of place, so I didn't know what to do. I grabbed it and somehow managed to pop it back into place. Ooh. and went on with the match and it was the main event at personal religion and we just killed it so that and then just recently about two weeks ago almost a month to the day that i dislocated one finger i was rolling around in the ring before the show and i dislocated my pinky finger on my right hand so those are the two worst injuries and they're really recent but i've been very lucky to never really hurt myself in matches yeah, i couldn't even imagine trying to like pop something back in place that just sounds horrible yeah, it, it's easier than I thought it was, but it, it's also because I was just jumped, j jacked up on adrenaline. Yeah. Like, the pinky hurt worse because I wasn't in a mat. So, to where the middle finger, I was just like, holy crap, I'm in the ring with Brian Cage. I can't <laughs> stop this match right now. I got to pop it in and keep going. So, that's what I did. Brian Cage is crazy. Yes. <laughs> and strong. Very, very strong. <laughs> 
Do you truly believe you're the best wrestling YouTuber in better than Guevara, better than being the elite? Uh, no, I uh, I don't. I believe that uh, there are people doing it who's more dedicated than I am, who are uh, coming up with cooler things, who have better equipment, who are funnier than me. And uh, what I try to make up for it in my vlogs is just... Very proud of. Um, I just had a really good match against a guy named Prince Mahali and Jeff Cobb. Is a triple threat, and I'm really proud of that match as well. It turned out really well. And then all of my NWL TV matches, I was very happy with every one of them. I don't want to look like a fool on TV, yeah. and I was happy about all of those. So I don't know, man. I don't. Uh, I also had a really good one a couple years back with Sammy Guevara, Andy Dalton, and a guy named Ultra Phoenix. It was a fatal four way, and I was very happy about that match. But I think I've I don't seen know. That. I guess I Brian Cage is a before. big one for me right now. Yeah. I had one with Sammy Guevara, Terrell Tempo, and Jordan Lennox in Sabotage Wrestling. Yeah. So very happy about those. I don't know. I'm just. I don't know if I've had a performance where I'm like, oh my god, that made me. But that yeah. Brian Cage match is probably up there for one that definitely helped. Um, what wrestling school did you train at? It's a company no longer uh, working down this uh, company in South Alabama. The head trainer was a man named Josh Payne. He went by the name Rainbow Warrior uh, on the indie scene. Another trainer there was uh, a guy who trained at the Heart Dungeon. His name was Eon Flex, and he helped train me a lot. And then I worked very closely with uh, the Armstrong family. For people that don't know, that's Road Dog his family right there in the Pensacola, Florida area. So those three are people I train with. But yeah, the company is, the, the school is no longer open at the moment. Yeah, I always like wanted you to like um, train me or Guevara or somebody like that. That's like my dream. I thing. have a dream to open up a wrestling school and own a wrestling company. And I will do that in the next five years. I just feel like that's the, that's the plan. Unless I make it to a bigger company yeah but that is the plan to open up a wrestling school here in the next four to five years and to train people because i love training i love helping out i always go get ring time and help out younger trainees just because i feel like some things are not shown to them in training and i like to help them with that yeah oh what's uh one of your favorite promotions to go to and wrestle and like you like your love you love being booked there Oh, man, I don't know. Uh, I just recently worked for Chikara, and that was amazing. But that was one of a one-time thing sort of deal. Uh, yeah. I loved going to the NWL up in Kansas City, but they just unfortunately shut down. The IWR is one of the main companies I wrestle at here in Oklahoma, and uh, I love wrestling for them. That's a big one. But pro wrestling religion, <laughs> I won't say it's a women's title. <laughs> they, they let me know real quick. That's Sabotage World Championship held by a man or woman and luckily I was the first man to do it so uh, yeah and I beat a woman for it and then a woman beat me for it but yes <laughs> yes the world champion alright I think that's uh, enough time for this interview Um, thank you guys for watching thank you Fuego for uh, coming here it was really appreciated no problem please let everybody know to go subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as this one right here and uh, check me out on Twitter Facebook and Instagram Fuego Del Sol and uh, I just really appreciate you for having me. All right. Thank you guys for watching. And, yeah, peace out.